Hi, I'm Kit for Be Bay Bet. Thank you everyone for agreeing to participate in our bushfire recovery pro project, helping restore native bees in areas that have been affected by fire. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make one of the bee hotel designs. This is the one involving PVC pipe and bamboo. So what you'll be needing is you'll be needing PVC pipe, which you can get from Bunnings, PVC pipe cap, which you again can get from Bunnings. You'll be needing some glue, a ruler, a file, and a saw. And also, um, for safety, um, a mask and some safety glasses. So, these safety glasses you can get from Bunnings as well, same with the masks, and I'm sure we're all familiar with wearing masks. So firstly, what you need to do is you get, need to get your PVC pipe and measure 15 centimeters with a ruler. So getting your ruler and measuring 15 centimeters. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a pencil and mark the 15 centimeter point. Now you need to um, get the 15 centimeters around the whole Way. So what you can do is get a piece of paper or newspaper, fold it in half, and then put um, it around the whole of the pipe so that it's nice and even, and then draw a line all the way around so that you've got your 15 centimeters there. So we're gonna be then cutting um, the pipe and so putting on a mask, just in case there's any little bits of material that are flying away. Okay, and then what we're gonna be doing is we're getting our saw like so. And this should be done by adults um, rather than children. The children um, should not be using these saws. And so getting your um, PVC pipe and holding it very firmly in one hand, putting the saw on your line and trying to keep it nice and straight. So you saw a little bit and then you turn it around. And keep going.
All right. Now we've got our PVC pipe and you can see that the edges are a bit dusty. So what we're going to do is we're going to file them down a little bit. So getting this and just filing it down a little bit. Now I would recommend when we're putting the cap on, put the cap on the, the side that is least smooth because that the cap is going to be the, at the back of the B Hotel. We can file down the rough edges with a file. Um, it's sometimes can be good to, to wear a glove for this. So just going to file the end. So that's our PVC pipe and this is what the bamboo is going to be going into. Now we've got our PVC pipe cap which is going to be going onto the end and so what we're going to be doing is getting some glue and just doing around the edges just a little circle and these usually fit in together anyway so if you don't have glue don't worry too much and putting it in now this is because um, we don't want any um, holes at the back so the we don't want the bees nest to be exposed at the back because usually in nature they nest in little holes in wood in trees that don't go all the way through to the back of the tree and out the other side so that's our container and we're going to be putting bamboo in it and um, the bamboo needs to be about the same length as the container so 15 centimeters um, it can be good if it's a little bit shorter so it's um, sort of got some protection around the outside but if it sticks out a little bit that's also fine um, ideally we want the diameters of the bamboo to be between two millimeters and ten millimeters in diameter because that means we've got a range of sizes for the native bees and um, anything larger can be a bit too big now you can get bamboo from Bunnings um, or other hardware stores um, or you can get it um, from other places that sell bamboo or if you have any yourself. So I'm going to be taking my mask off now because I don't need to do any more cutting. Now you need to cut the bamboo to lengths. So the best way to do this is with a, a drop saw, but these are um, Quite dangerous and so only if you have experience using one or if you want to go to a men's shed and they have experience otherwise you can use a hacksaw which is the safest and best way to do this um, but it takes a little bit longer now it takes quite a while to cut up all the bamboo so rather than watch me cut up bamboo for about an hour mm. I have um, some that I prepared earlier now when you cut bamboo up there will be some that have nodes and this means that there's a, a, a blockage in the, the bamboo. So when you're putting your bamboo inside the bee hotel, you want to put um, the, if there's a node, you want to put it at the, the back um, because otherwise the native bees won't be able to make many nest cells in it. So lots of the bamboo, often when you cut it, it will still have um, a pithy center. Now, some of our native bees are ex in Europe 
they will nest in um, stems that have pithy centres that our mega chili bees and our Hylaean bees, which are the main ones that use the bee hotels, they need the centre completely hollowed out. So what you can do is you can get a skewer or you can get a um, small drill bit and just put it through until you've got it nice and hollow. So you can do that with all of them. And then your job is simply to stack your PVC pipe with all your bits of bamboo. So remembering to make sure that you put the nodes at the base so that the native bees ideally can nest along the length of the, the bamboo because they will make a number of cells and each cell has nectar and pollen in it and the female will lay an egg on the nectar and pollen ball and then make a seal and then make another cell and she'll make cells each containing an egg and nectar and pollen provisions along the length and then she'll finally cap them off with a, a cap and these caps depend on the species if it's a mega chili bee it could be resin or it could be chewed up leaf material or it could be leaf discs if it's a hylaean bee it will be a secretion she produces herself, which will be a silvery secretion. And this is how you know that they've finished making the nest. Now, you need to make sure that the bamboo is packed really tight. So when you put quite a bit in, give it a little bit of, sh of shake. And fill any holes with more bamboo so that it's packed really, really nice and tight. As you can see, there's quite a few that still have that pithy centre. So once you put them all in, you can get your, your skewer and hollow them out. Sometimes you just need to give it a little bit of a shake just to free up some room. And if one isn't going in, then you can try and find a thinner piece of bamboo, which I will go and search for. Now, sometimes if you're having a little bit of trouble trying to get them in, you can use a hammer. Being careful with fingers. Hammer it in like so. Now the, the key test to see if they're packed in nice and tight is turning it upside down. Now I do this with children and often they forget to put their hand on top and they tip it all out. So put your hand on top gently, tip it over gently and if they don't fall out then your bee hotel is fine. So this is your bee hotel. And what you will do is you hang it up like so in a horizontal position at about head height on a tree, or if there are no trees left, you can put it on a star picket and um, tie it around with string so that it's nice and tight. And putting this up at the very end of winter or the very start of, of spring, and then, you will be looking at it once a month or more if you can um, and taking a photo and uploading it to our iNaturalist project if you see native bees visiting it and if you don't see any native bees visiting it that's still valuable information. So good luck with making your bee hotels and thank you for participating in this project.